the, the most time that you can give to fight with the devil, the most is 15 minutes. Don't waste your time in prayer. I said to these people, rebuke the devil and he shall submit to God, rebuke the, and he shall flee from you. Don't fight with him and just rebuke him and rebuke him and rebuke him. Turn to God and begin to worship him. Say, get behind me, Satan, and can continue on. That's all. That's how it's supposed to be. Do you understand? We are not to fight with the devil for that long. If something is attacking you, if you go and against something, remember. Say, hey, listen. Say, where is your sting? Or sickness? Or strength? Where is it? It's done. It's paid by Christ. I'm a new creation. I'm turning to God to worship Him and I'll receive my healing. Hello? Same thing with everything. How many times God says, by prayer and supplication, give everything to me? But you don't. You know how we give things to God? Here's God, here's the devil. Okay? Lord, take it. And fight him with the devil. Take it, Lord. We're not looking at God. We're just trying to give it to God, but oh, we're just fighting with the devil. We're just looking in Satan's eyes. And he's like, he loves that. He says, keep looking at me. He says, keep, keep fighting. Amen? The Bible says, in prayer and supplication, give, give everything to God. Lord, there. And when you're giving it to God, God says, keep looking at me. Okay? Keep looking. Keep praising me. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Oh, look up on His beautiful face. And the things of this world will become you, dim, you know, in, 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 in the light of your glory and grace. Keep looking at God. Are you, are you listening to me? Amen. Lord Jesus, take it. Jesus. The devil's right there. Oh God, he's still here. Keep looking at Christ. Hallelujah. And we don't do that. We're still fighting. I've met people, Christians, they fight with their problem for 40 years, 30 years, no victory. I said, my God, what's going on here? And I've met people that they still have the problem, but they don't feel it and they have peace. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Which part are you want to be? Remember, we are spiritual. We are heavenly. We are of the Christ. All we need to do, to do is to worship God. Be in His Spirit. God has given us a chance and opportunity to spend time in His... To be in His presence. God will never push you for a moment. It's up to you. You can be in God's presence for 24-7. Right? God will never... God didn't give you a schedule. Monday is Gennady. Tuesday is Adam. Wednesday is Antonio. Thursday is Katrina. And Friday... Oh, I don't have many days left for people to come in my presence. So, choose... That's not what God said. Hallelujah. If you understand the principles, and as Paul said, where is your sting? Death. What do you, what do you want, devil? What are you trying to prove? I belong to Jesus. What are you trying to prove to me? That I'm wrong and you're right? Get out of my face. In Jesus' name. 
What are you trying to prove to put that sickness on me? By His stripes, I am healed. Amen. I'm not going to spend time with you. Shut the door and I'm going to Jesus. I'd rather spend time with Christ than with the devil. Do you understand? But fighting the devil and having these battles constantly in your mind and in your flesh is having time. He knows that you're just having time with him. That's all. He's taking your time away from being with God. Receiving your miracle. What are you doing? That's what Paul says. Pray all the time. Spend time. Be in God's presence. Stay there. Because you already been raised from the dead. You already been given that opportunity. Take it. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen... Well, in the Bible that Jesus had a bad day. Bad day. Or just another bad day. Why is it so bad? Turn your eyes upon Jesus. You know, any bad day, any bad situation, anything that you're going through, learn to turn into Christ. With God there is no bad days. He'll fix it. He'll change it. Amen? Amen? It doesn't matter what you're going through. Ruth, she's such a girl. She's in labor. She's in pain. And yet she's worshiping God and praising God. She's happy. She says, I'm going to have my baby. She's looking for a positive thing out of this. Amen? Amen? Yes, my wife is there. Yes, your parents are there. Yes, David is there to support. But I called before the service and I heard your voice. Hi, Dad, from the bed. She said that on the phone. A woman in labor. Isn't it wonderful? No bad days. In Christ. With Christ. Oh, I guess God has a bad day today, so He's mad at me. <laughs> no. God never has bad days. Hallelujah. We need to learn from the Word of God who we are and walk by the... Remember, you need to walk by the Spirit. The more you're going to spend time with God and in God... The less of your flesh and that old nature is going to act up. It's in God's presence, the safety. We are hum human, but we are heavenly. Now, we are after Jesus. He paid the price. He died. He gave us that victory. Therefore, it says in verse 58... It says this, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast after all that you have. Be ye steadfast, unmovable. Amen. Let nothing move. Unmovable from where? Unmovable from the presence of God. You understand? Unmovable from the presence of God. Be steadfast. Unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Well, we're going to have prayer and fast this week. Always. To come to church once a week, it's not enough. You need support. We need to be together. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor, your, who is he talking to? A preacher, a teacher, a minister, or to the church? To the church. So he says, forsake, 
for as much as you know that your labor, that's your labor, is not in vain in the Lord. It's not going to be in vain. Turning away from evil. Turning away from all the world and all its fun and entertainment. And stay in the presence of God. Stay in the church. Be together. Serve God. Live for Him. You know what, if the devil is attacking you to do some stupid thing at home, go outside and start winning souls. Go and fight him. Get souls to heaven. Go and win somebody. Go and talk to somebody. Call somebody. Pray with somebody. Do something that is right. Amen? Say, okay, well, I think he's tempting me to fall into sin Instead of that, I'm going to do the opposite. Say, thank you, Mr. Devil. I was actually sitting home doing nothing. Now I'm going to go win souls. I'm going to do something right. Hallelujah. (laughs) I'm going to call my brother and my sister and we'll pray for each other. And maybe God will use me on the phone to pray for somebody that they will be healed. What a wonderful thing. Amen. That's what it says. For say, uh, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Oh, it's so beautiful to be occupied with God and all the time. With God and God alone. Hallelujah. To come to the front and give a testimony. Say, Lord Jesus, this is what you have done for me publicly. It's a public speaking. It's a wonderful thing. Amen. Be together. Come and worship. Do something for Jesus. Amen. Well, that one turned out not too badly. Thank you, Lord. One of the main things from this message I took for myself, and I wanted to pass on to you as well, is that a gift that God has given us, not to live by the flesh, but to live by the Spirit. It's such a gift, Brother Antonio, is that right? When we worship God. When we spend in time with God alone as well, when we know who we are in Christ and hide ourselves in the Spirit of God. When you got used to this, nothing shall separate you from the love of God. Even yourself will not be able to. Amen. Hallelujah. While we come into the end of this message. And I pray. I believe God. I'm going to pray for you right now. Pray for your needs. Believe God for your miracle. First, I want to turn to this camera so you can switch it on. And I'll pray for the people that are watching us today. Amen. We are going to be in Kingston with our miracle meetings in July. July 29th and 30th, I believe. Then we're planning to be in Thunder Bay in August. Then we're planning to go to Winnipeg in September. As well as Saskatoon. And then October is going to be whether Ottawa or BC, one or the other. But I'm looking forward to see you there at the meetings and to see God moving by His Spirit touching your life. Let me pray for you right now. Father, in the mighty precious name of Jesus, I thank you for touching people's lives, setting them free. I thank you for miracles. I thank you, Lord God, for your word. I thank you, Lord God, that they are standing strong 
knowing who they are in Christ. Lord Jesus, just touch them and bless them. And let them rise up. For the glory of God is upon them. Arise and shine. For the glory of God is upon you. So rise and be healed. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you for watching. Shalom. Well, friends, we are finishing our subject on 1 Corinthians chapter 15 about the resurrection of Jesus and us being resurrected with Him. What a powerful thing to know that we are resurrected and we have received a new life, the opportunity to be a new person, to be completely new, filled with the Holy Spirit, have the power of God upon our life, not in our own strength, not by our own will, but by the will of God who pours His Spirit into us and given us the victory. See, the devil is attacking everyone today and he's trying to subsidize everything that God has given into your life. Don't give in. Don't give up. God is there. What God has given, He has given to you and for you. So trust Him. Praise Him. Believe God. Stand in faith and let God continue to manifest Himself through your life and give you the victory. And I'm sure He will. We all going through things. We all going through some stuff in our life. But I'm telling you that God is faithful for so many years from the beginning. 6,000 years this earth has been experiencing the faithfulness of God. Amen. And He is forever and ever there and He will never fail. Amen. I want to pray for you. I want to believe God for your miracle. Let me do that. Father, in the mighty precious name of Jesus, we give you the praise. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Cleanse us from all foolishness, sin, and whatever we may be encountered with. Lord, I just pray, help us to be transparent with you, honest with you. Touch our life. Bring us up, my Lord. Lord, the light upon us is already. We need just to, to be arised and shine. The glory of God is upon us. And I give you the praise, my Lord, for your goodness, mercy, and faithfulness in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak to you healing right now. I speak to you deliverance right now. I speak to you hope right now. I speak to you the power of God into your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive that glorified power of Christ in your life right now and let Jesus take full control and he is doing that in the name of Jesus be healed delivered and set free in Jesus mighty precious name amen and amen and amen well friends we come into the end of this program and now announcements again I we are coming to Kingston Ontario with our miracle meetings in July the 29th and 30th. We are going to be at the Ambassador Kingston Hotel and Conference Center, which is 1550 Princess Street in Kingston. Friday night is at 7 p.m. service, and Saturday night is at 6 p.m. service. Don't miss this opportunity. If you are in Ottawa or in surrounding, come. It's only two nights of these meetings, and I know, I believe that God is going to move, as He always does, in a powerful, powerful way. This is the first time you're going to Kingston, and we believe for a breakthrough there. Amen. And then, uh, we already made plans. We're just working on the dates. By next week, I will let you know exactly the dates. We are going to be in Thunder Bay, Ontario, and that is going to be in August. So stay tuned. Thunder Bay be coming to you and God is going to move there as well. God is going to bless you and touch you. God is going to heal your life. God is going to speak prophecy into you. God is going to build your life. We need each other. We need you. You need us. And we're coming to encourage you. We're coming to pray with you. We're coming to bring uh, the glory of God upon you again, even more than you have. Amen. And we believe God for every miracle. We believe God for everything that He's going to do in your life in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's going to be in August. So remember, next week we're going to have that information for you. If you want our newsletter that you're going to have all the information there that will come to your door in a booklet form. It's a magazine. Give us a call and sign up today for a free magazine. Amen. And also, 
Can I say thank you for supporting this ministry? Summertime, for some reason, is always slower. And the donations are down, but the bills are still the same. And we trust God that you will answer the call and send us your best gift today. Thank you so much for helping us. God bless you. Shalom to you. And until next week, stay under the power of God. And remember, Jesus is your Lord, Savior, and Messiah. God bless you. Until next time, shalom. Hallelujah. Precious Jesus. I will bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Who forgiveth all our iniquities. Who healeth all our diseases. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God.
holy name. We praise you, Jesus. We magnify your name, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Praise your holy name. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Praise you, praise you, praise you. House of David Jewish Messianic Ministry is produced and sponsored by viewers like you. We appreciate your support, which is allowing us to continue to broadcast our programming. Thank you, and God bless you. Shalom.